Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure Episode 32. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, and we are now reaching the close of Sonic Adventure. Oh, no, really? Yes, because we only have one more thing left to do as Gamma, and then, well, that's it, my friend. Well, you see, within the Sonic canon, I've been learning a lot about the Sonic canon lately, and I realize there are so many friggin' characters that I thought this was going to go on for, like, another 30 parts. Welcome to the rabbit hole, my friend. You want to keep digging? Complete. N no, I want to go back home, please. Remaining. Okay. So, all we have left is just... Beta. Brother Beta. Now, people have been asking... Yeah, people have been asking in the comments, what the hell is Gamma doing Gamma. killing his brothers? I mean, if he wants to save them, why is he killing them? Those are very, very good questions. I'm glad that you all are paying attention. But, they will all be answered after this boss battle. Beta. Is it kind of like the serial killer thing? It's like, I'm saving them by killing them, so nothing else can e happen to them. This is a stupid E-rated game. What do you think? Mm, well... Do you, do you think they're going to have a serial killer in an E-rated game? Oh, well, God. Well, it's just the mi Wow. <laughs> you still loaded the cutscene. That worked. Loading. It's like, all of a sudden, I'm just... warped right to E-101 Mark II. I can't shoot him like I always can because he's way too fast. He's advanced, and oh, he hurts. Oh my gosh, how are you gonna beat this guy? Well, I will show you. Because he's kind of a dummy. How dumb is he? Well, I'll show you here in a second. Because from the looks of it, you're kind of the dummy in this situation, if you don't mind me saying here. Who asked you? <laughs> what would you do? I just shot him. It's like he leaves himself open after after a while, so you have to hit him from behind. But the thing oh, is, okay. he's locked onto your ass, so the only time you can do it is when he charges at you. But my god, it's hard to stay alive! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> How do you dodge that, like, charge attack with the shield, or do you just have to be far enough away? You gotta oh, keep moving, just, pretty much. Like, yeah, like just, that. Just like that, yep. Nothing to it! Oh, yeah, of course. Except expert timing. And, as we all know, you're a master at timing. Have I not proven my case? Uh-oh. Oh, that was, that was scary. Why didn't... Eggman, Robotnik, whatever, keep this guy! Not very practical. It's like he decided to go with the beta release <laughs> before the final release, you know? Which ended, up being o which ended up being Omega, and good for Omega because he's in way more Sonic games than any of the E100 robots. Well, I'm just thinking, like, this guy, he's got a giant laser to destroy things with. Why wouldn't he keep that? That's Yeah, he's got a lot of toys in here. I mean... I don't know, I think, I think Dr. Eggman would be in great need of a strategic advisor, you know? Oh mm. shit, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I got, got trapped there for a second. Oh, You're here's a really big one! My arm again. Whoa! Oh my god, that was a huge explosion. Yeah, that was, that was nice. See, see, this type of robot, it's just like a world ender. And I do agree that maybe Gamma's kind of like the strategic advisor. Maybe that was it. I've never won on my first try. Oh, really? That was that was good on my... I'm, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, well, good for you! So, that does it for Gamma. He's killed all his brothers. I mean, freed all his brothers. I mean, no, he killed them. Yeah. So is he gonna take, like, his arm cannon, point it up to his head, and yell, Goodbye, world! E-rated! E-rated! Damn it! Uh, there's just so many adult things I want to happen in this game! Wait till we get to Shadow the Hedgehog, okay? All oh, right, Mr. Edgy. And Edgy the Hedgy. <laughs> Kills over. And fuck off. No. And so Beta, with his last writhing gasp of breath, he's a robot. What? Nah, he's dead. Okay. Now, was that Gamma or Beta? That was Beta. I keep getting confused. They look so similar. Shouldn't that bird be roasted? You'd think. 
Bang. Never not funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just shows like a small shot of the bird and then the arm cannon just whips around, smacks it. Fade to black with one gunshot. <laughs> E-rated game! I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Goodbye. Uh. And bonk. Can we put in the Leon Kennedy dying sound clip from Resident <laughs> Evil 4 when he collapses? <laughs> <laughs> this is a touching moment, goddammit! <laughs> sorry, See? I just don't get it. The sappy piano music, that's how you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just... I just can't take it seriously. Robots are exploding and showing up birds. Oh, duh, that's wow. Huge, huge explosion. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Birdie, why? Aw, look at that. So if you missed that, Gamma was freeing his brothers because they were trapped birdies because the birdie reminded him that he was a birdie deep down inside of his core memory, and so he killed his brothers by freeing the birds inside of him, and now they're together as a family. You get it? Are you touched yet? Just right here. Right in my very core. I, I, I love this story. It speaks to me, and that was really stupid. Well, that was Sonic Adventure. Tell me, uh, what did you think overall? Oh, well, it's not bad. I mean, we spent, we did spend a lot of time with Sonic, and then about the exact same amount of time we spent with Sonic was split up between five of the characters that nobody cares about, maybe Tails. Uh, but, uh, if you look back, yeah, not bad. If you look back, uh, all of these characters had like exactly four episodes themselves, and Sonic has had twelve. So, yes, oh, a good, that almost broke even. A good chunk of it was Sonic, so you know, give him that. But you know, uh, they did offer a lot of gameplay, a lot of a lot of variety, certainly, and some some of them worked, some of them really, really fucking didn't. But overall, <laughs> I'd say that I've had a positive experience with this game. Even, even today, even today. I could see that, and as you said, variety. And to be honest, I really did like the variety in here. Even though I wouldn't like it if I were playing, because I just want to play Sonic in a Sonic game. I do admit that was a good idea on their part to you know mix it up a bit. I also think that making a lot of Sonic levels would be graphically demanding. You know. You'd need m hundreds yeah. and hundreds of miles of yardage to go fast in. That's harder to do, you know, the more you go into video game generations, pretty much, I guess. True. And the Sonic levels we did get were really cool. And we haven't even done the Gigapet uh, thing that comes with this, too. Gigapet? The Chows. Oh yeah, those things. Not because not only are we skipping taking care of the chows and also the races, but also the mini game that comes in on the VMU, which, which was the memory card. So. Oh yeah, I actually have that. So. Oh wah, you don't get to play Sonic for a whole bunch, but hey, look at all of this rest of the game you have. So at least you get bang for your buck, you know. I'll agree with that. This really is. This is the best tech demo for your brand new sexy Dreamcast. This was one of the first games that came out for the Dreamcast, right? I think it was a launch title, maybe. Well, it's a pretty good way to get people in the door. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a. So that's why I played it on the Dreamcast because Sonic Adventure is better on the Dreamcast. You play it on the GameCube, you know. Yeah, it's cool with all the missions, all the new stuff, but you know, it just doesn't feel right. It just feels at home here. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I've I've heard some things about the port. Apparently it isn't that good, but then again, the old game wasn't that good to begin with, and all they did for the port was give it an HD shine. That's like play it's it's like playing Halo 1 on a PS2. It feels wrong, you know? 
I can see that. It just feels wrong, but it just feels better on Dreamcast. But hey, we had fun here, right? You know, we've had a lot of fun, except for Big, of course, right? Yeah, we've had fun, certainly. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Now, I gotta ask. Sure. This story, all, all of these stories, they didn't tie up anything, because chaos is still out there. Mm-hmm. Are they just gonna leave a loose end for the sequel, or...? I mean, with all this thought and ingenuity, you'd think they'd have a fair conclusion, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I guess there were just some things that they couldn't include, so I guess they're just gonna save everything for the sequel. You know, it, it came like two years later, it's not like I had that long to wait. I don't know, two years is a pretty long time, especially when they're adding even more freaking characters you don't care about. Yeah. Well... I guess uh, that's uh, that's that's a wrap. That does okay. It for Sonic Adventure, yeah. Oh, well, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me. I can't wait for Sonic Adventure too. Woo! Yeah, it's gonna be incredible. Oh, and look, they fly up together. Oh, nice. look at the little birds! Little birdie friends, isn't that nice? Oh. We get our forty-sixth emblem. Wow. Come a long way. We have come a long way. Sega. Hmm. There's still more footage. There what could more. possibly be shown? There's way more of the video. <gasps> what could you possibly be showing me with this? If you beat all six of the stories, you unlock a hidden seventh story. <gasps> oh, Supersonic! I probably fooled nobody! No, you, you fooled me for about five seconds. But next time on Sonic Adventure, the finale! You're gonna be doing Super Sonic Story, and it's gonna be fucking crazy! We'll see you next time! Hmm. <laughs>